very good day to you. In this video, let's have a look at how to audit access to files and folders, and then how to look at the events and maybe even filter it using a little bit of an advanced system towards the end. Okay, the simple thing is it's in two processes. One, in group policy, you need to enable auditing, and the second is for the file or folder in its security section, you need to basically enable auditing there as well. Okay, that's the main two things. So we'll start off by going right to the basics. Okay. All right. So here we have a folder that we want to audit. Okay. And in it, it has a, another file everything within that folder and its subfolders would like to audit. So the first thing is we can set properties, go to security, go to advanced, go to auditing, and then basically add the users that you want to. We've already added the administrator. Okay. Okay. And then it'll find it, you click on it, accept it, and then basically choose that. Okay, we, as you can see, we've already added. Okay, so that's one step. The second step is to go to group policy. Okay, and for that, you can go to server manager. Okay, and from server manager, you basically click on tools. Okay, group policy management. That brings us to no that window, okay, which basically then has the policy set up. We're just doing it as a quick demo, so we're going into group policy objects for the domain and default domain policy. Right click on that click edit. Don't forget to make sure that it's enforced. How do you do that? You just right click on that and tick enforce. That means it's active, the group policy object. Okay, when you click edit, okay, that then brings up this window. And now in here, okay, you can do it on computer configuration or you can do it on user configuration. Okay, it's completely up to you. In this case, we're choosing it based on this computer system. Okay, so computer configuration for this domain. Okay, then you drill all the way down policies, window settings, um, security settings, local policies, then you find audit policy, and then it has these. What we're looking at is ob audit object access. Now, you can take both of them, make sure you click on define. Success basically, someone's tried to access it, they've been able to access it. Failure, someone's tried to access it, was unable to access it. Okay, make sure you have at least one of these boxes ticked, or both. Okay, and that box ticked, click OK, and then that sets it up. Now basically, once computers log off and log back on, they will get that group policy in the domain, Okay, and it's now active. And we have set it for this one folder on this computer. Um, basically, you could set it through group policy or by individual folders throughout. Okay, now with a simple little test, okay, I'm gonna go in here and just click on it. And then just it had some stuff in there. Hello. Okay, save it. Okay, close it down. And now, if we were to go to Event Viewer, which is available from basically Server Manager, or click over here and type in Event, you find it, same thing. Okay, most of these things also are available through the search. Okay, so over here. Now, it's going to be in security, okay? And the key for it is 4663, the event ID, okay? Now, that is what you're looking for, okay? You could do a quick filter over here and 
filter by 4663, click OK, and we had all users over there. And basically, as you can see, okay, I've accessed that document. Going back, I access the folder, okay, and it has all that. Now, this is great, okay. What if we want to kind of like um, filter things by user, etc.? For this, this is the advanced part where we need to basically use PowerShell. Now, it's a very simple command. I'll just copy that and I'll paste it into here so it's a little bit more readable. Okay, we've given it to a variable first, okay? Dollar event, get win event, and then filter by, and it has to be a hash. Okay, the log name is the security log, okay? As we showed you in the event, it's the security log. Okay, and then filter by ID, which was the event ID of that folder access. Okay, 4663, as we showed over here, 463663 event ID. Now, over here, we have another filtering, data equals, and this is the security ID of, in this case, our administrator. Okay, if we go to one of these, let's just find it. There we go. Okay, so if we clicked on the event, we find the user ID for the administrator in this case, the SID. Okay, and we just copy that into our PowerShell command. Okay. And we've also given a start time, okay, when do we want it to start from basically today's date, okay? And all we need to do is just run that command. It'll run silently in the background. And then just one more, okay? We're now piping that event, okay, that variable, all the data stayed, stored in that variable, formatting it as a list, and then saving it to a file. It's saved in the same folder. We could have specified the exact location, okay? And 4663.txt, okay? And we go here, we have our 4663.txt, and basically all events, basically, that are happening on that folder that we had set up auditing on are now recorded, and you can happily go through it in Notepad, WordPad, etc., you know? We could have gone a little bit further and comma separated values or make it into an HTML file and all that stuff. But I'm sure for now, this is a general thing. As you can see, it's not too bad. Just two simple commands and you've got it filtered by the user ID. What shall we say um, event were we looking for? The event in that in this instance, it was the file access. Okay. And there. Ah. Just one little thing that I can go through. If I was to filter by X20,000, okay, that's all basically read and writes, okay, of um, our files. Okay, so hopefully that has helped. Thank you for watching.